Well, I think that moves us to third base now where this is another conundrum for us. Where we're going to have to have like officials rule in on eligibility and playing time or how, how we how we determine who the third baseman is. I think if we determine that Chris Bryant was third base eligible, I think he'd be it easily. Um, if you just look at he's an MVP candidate at this point, although he's had a tough tough couple of weeks here but his his numbers overall would put him far and above but this year he hasn't played third base he's i know there was a stat at one point where he hadn't played third base since like the third week of april i believe he's played once or twice since then but he he's an outfielder basically so I, I, i'm putting him in in the in the major league a-holes outfield eventually but what, what's your ruling on that would you make him third base eligible for us i i don't think i've seen him play like when i've watched a game i don't say i think i've seen him at third yeah i mean it's it's been since the beginning of april since he has so i just we could be i think it's more more fun if we put him in the outfield for one thing but i think i think realistically it's it, he is not a third baseman right now well i hope so, he makes the roster now that we moved him to outfield no. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> well, like you were joking before, we could make him. We could have him play. He would. Well, he, he might win actually, every position because yeah. he could yes, be a first baseman. He's... He could. He could be a center fielder. He could be. He's. He's basically been everything but the middle infield, I think, and catcher. Yeah. So, um, this is this is this is a pretty underwhelming position. It's it's surprisingly underwhelming and. I I almost wanted to make this, or maybe I will make this, my asshole question for you this week. Um, out of the blue, blindsiding you with this. You were not prepared for this at all, and that's how asshole should work. What the fuck is wrong with Yohan Mankata? Especially when you pointed out two weeks ago his yeah, incredible... That article, well, once that article got published, his average has dropped 20 points. His BABIP? Well, no, his batting average is oh, bad twenty yeah. points no, since we, that article but, was published. Well, we talked about his. You specifically brought up his BABIP two weeks ago and his hard hit ball rate, where he's ranked number two, I think, overall in his five years as a player. But the hard hit balls and BABIP, you would think his OPS and his power numbers in general would be through the roof still, and they're not, they're just not. And I, I kind of don't get that. And, uh, I'm, of course, this this is <laughs> there's a reason this is called asshole because this is an impossible question to answer. But you know, you've heard different things about him over over the last year or so, where he had COVID, of course, last year and had a really down year in a small, granted, small sample size of 60 games. But you really haven't seen him return to have any any kind of power numbers, uh, especially this year. He's got five home runs. Um, is it, oh, what's his OPS right now? Is it? Do you have that up there? It's like seven. Yeah, his, it's like seven ninety four. Okay, that I mean that's that's just right around league average. So I mean it's not that he's, he's garbage, but you'd think with a hard hit ball rate in historic levels that he does that he would have a much higher OPS, and he, he just doesn't. You've heard. I mean, I heard Dan Bernstein on the score seven. Uh, 670 of the score in Chicago talk about, you know, he had a sinus infection and yeah, he did. He was out three games. He, he missed the entire Tampa Bay series. Okay. So, I mean, are there multiple illnesses that could be causing, you know, general numbers decline that, you know, we're, well, we're I mean, getting to halfway through halfway through but, uh, another season now. So, but you're also talking about, so you're talking about the chemistry of a ball club. And numbers going up and down, and a lot of it has to do with the people batting in front of you and behind you too that help aid you in those situations. Mm. And 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 a lot of players, players who have down years, if you look at the guy batting behind them all of a sudden, they just throw you, they get like they let you get yourself out more because they're not giving you good shit to hit because they don't have to worry about the guy behind so, them. So he's and at the beginning at, Sorry, at, at, the be, at, at the beginning of the season, he had like Yerman Mercedes who couldn't make an out. Yeah. And so you know what? You're seeing you're seeing pitches. So 
So he can support, I'm putting words in your mouth here, but he could support a solid team, but he can't carry a team on his own. Like, I, like and I, I don't, I don't think he ever was going to be a guy who would carry a team no, on his own. Boy, I, yeah. I, I, I mean, I mean the number one prospect in baseball. You, you think, no team, no, no guy carries. Does how how good have the uh, uh, Angels done since Mike Trout's been there? So there's the exact example. You can't carry. Well, yeah, but his numbers yourself. aren't declining based on who's around him. I mean, they they well, were, his I numbers don't know. They did. They, I mean, they did decline last year. I mean, was it because of people well, who were nothing around close? Them? I don't know. Not nothing close to what you're seeing out of Moncada now. I but mean, the year's not that's over. Night and day. The year's not over, so we're not. Well, we don't, comparing we don't comparing know. Trout and Moncada is is not even close. But I, I, again, I I I. <laughs> I regret. I re, I'm kind of regretting bringing up asshole here because I. It's not really what I wanted to do, but maybe it's maybe it's the topic of a longer conversation, and maybe now that I've sparked the subject, you'll you can dive deeper into it. Well, and, I, I mean, I don't really have much more to talk about in regards to Mankata than what I've talked about him. I mean, the numbers inside the numbers are better than the numbers that are here, which is where you get into. What's more important, these numbers or the sabermetrics numbers? Well, so, that's what I mean. You can, you can, I'll, if you want to talk, do a segment next week or in the next few weeks to talk about that, I, I'd love, I'd love to hear more about those sabermetric numbers. Um, yikes. Uh, what do we got next? So, oh, well, wait, wait, what do we do for third we base? Have a, who is third base? I mean, so it's not Mankata. <laughs> we established that. Well, is it not Mankata? I well, mean, that's the thing. I mean, Mark it... Chapman's got nine home runs, thirty-five RBIs, and a 727 OPS. It's. I mean, I, I mean, would, I would almost go Mankata. I mean, they're they're kind of the same at that point. You can't you can't put wisdom in the All Star game. He barely has his sample that, size is too small. There's my problem. Like wisdom actually has really great numbers, but it's been for three weeks or whatever it is. So. We got to make a ruling here, so we're not we're not going to include someone that's only played for three weeks. We're not going to include Chris. Oh, I lost Pete. That's unfortunate. Oh, you're well, back. I, yeah, it was. I got a weird phone warning that paused it. Sorry. So yeah. we're not going to include anyone who has only played for three weeks. That's Should the last we... thing I heard of you. Okay. Uh, then Bryant. We're not going to include. Are we going to put Bryant in the outfield? Or should we, we could just make, make... Thing, we could make things easy? Put Bryant and third because there's probably plenty. Should we make I, things easy? We, pl- we should. Well, I mean, really, at this point, because third base. Once you take Bryant out of third base, it's um, all yeah. the lessers of evil. Okay. Well, this is ours. We own this. We could do anything. Yeah. Anything we want. So we're putting our Chris, starting putting... third baseman. Let's hope he doesn't get a lot of balls hit to him because he's barely played there. Chris. <laughs> I think he'll be okay. He's been solid everywhere he's been. So no, he has, I know he's, he's been a, a liability. He's a, so. he's a great athlete. He's he'll a figure great it athlete. out. He's a <laughs> great he'll athlete. Smi- he'll smile doing it too. So let me say it like an Italian from the south side. He's a great athlete. <laughs> well, we could have avoided a lot of the last fifteen <laughs> minutes if we just said Chris Bryant no, was our fucking third baseman. But <laughs> well, I think I think we did it out of mercy for the other candidates. <laughs> <laughs>